gentlemen, I give you this Galabelle Bounce the Right Now! Right the Right Now! Sitting in this cell, yeah, but something I didn't do. And all I can think of is maybe I'll be good. I know what about what I do When I film them things I've done them just for you But now I'm getting out Coming back to you All oh, you people have done time, sing stage and said, um, right, drummer, you play anything, guitarist play anything, everybody play anything, and then you started singing about exactly how you felt at that certain time. People think you were absolutely mental cases, you know, but that would be, that actually would be rock and roll. If a person's doing something at a certain moment, how he feels it at a certain time, then that's, that's exactly what it's supposed to be about. That's, that's exactly what rock and roll's supposed to be about. It's, that's exactly what soul's supposed to be about, rhythm and blues, you see. It's the same thing, it's like being in the cotton fields and picking cotton in like New Orleans or somewhere like that and having the feeling that you're doing something and you've got to sing about it because you're, you've got a feeling there to be singing about. And uh, rock and roll died the first time anybody played it because after that someone copied it and then as soon as someone copied it, you see, it was commercialised. So therefore, when anybody ever thinks of something new, take punk for instance, as soon as someone started playing punk and someone started saying, right, I could do something with that or I could make this or I could make that, it all reminded me isn't punk anymore. My fans have a reputation of trouble, yeah, I mean, uh, but the um, point about it is, you've got to remember that the place that I've come from and uh, the place that most of these kids come from to see us is an element of, um, of bad boys, you might, might say, like, you know, the, the, the most of these kids are, are angels with dirty faces. Who's come to Reading then, eh?
shows with dirty vice and hanging shows but no one flies as kids like me and you I'm a rebel stuck with a label trying to be somebody in line better people we don't want to know pick up a place and you don't want to go hanging shows with dirty vice and hanging shows no one flies I think it's a bit dangerous sometimes because I don't think they really know how to handle it, but I think it's still good what they're doing. You know? Paul Weller. The James lead singer, he writes the same type of his lyrics as me. He writes them in a very intelligent way. He's very, very good at what he writes. I mean, I, I write for simplicity, but the lyrics he writes are very, you know, they're very, very good. If they haven't got someone to say, look, you're doing this and you're doing that wrong, and it's, and it's bad what you're doing, then who are you going to have, have speaking up for them? And I, I believe that I should speak up for them. And that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to bring the kids together in the best way possible. <laughs> With machetes and all that. <coughs> Me and Albert are in his cell, this geezer's coming, he's just sitting there cross-legging on the floor. Well, Albert's lying, mate, because he don't know what's been going on. We wish we could have finished it off, everybody singing. Next thing, the couple books in. I want everybody out there, right up to the fucking back. Me and Albert look at each other. Me and Albert look at each other. And I want you to look at him dead in the fucking eye. Me and Albert look at each other. 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 I am not a man. 
day was. If you can imagine that a year and a half ago I was working in a wimpy bar for £2.50 a day, and then a year and a half later you're on a stage in front of 35,000 people, and you're playing a song like the Kids United, and absolutely clapping and clapping and clapping and clapping. It would bring tears to anybody. Once you start getting into just thinking of money, it just becomes a job and you may as well give up. Hopefully this thing that's been christened the new wave is going to allow a space for bands and audiences together to have some kind of adventure. <laughs> 